Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate the number of unit cells in a solid crystal. This is the density formula given, density is equal to Z, where Z is the number of atoms per unit cell and M is the molar mass in gram per mole, it can also be atomic mass in gram per mole. A cube is the volume of unit cell where A is has length of unit cell it is measured in centimeters and N is our gadu numbers D is density it is uh, measured in gram per centimeter cube. This is the problem given here and in this problem I will show you how you can calculate the number of unit cells in a solid crystal. The problem says that an element X having FCC structures from this information we can get Z value Z value for FCC structure face center cubic structure is 4 here we get z is equal to 4 has unit cell means a value is given has unit cell is 500 meter 500 sorry picometers and so you can see that in this density formula a is measured in centimeters but in the problem a value is given in 500 picometer that's why we need to convert pm uh, picometer into centimeters we do the conversion here here we have 500 uh, picometer we know that one picometer is equal to 10 to power minus 10 uh, centimeters and here we have per picometer 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 will cancel out the value which we get that is 500 multiplied by 10 to power uh, minus 10 and here we have centimeter it can also be written as you can move this decimal before two digits on left side the value which we get 5.00 and here we get 10 to power 2 multiplied by 2 minus 10 and here we get minus 8 centimeters this is the length of unit cell in centimeters now the next question says that find the density of this element x element and so well the atomic mass of this element is equal to 200 gram per mole we apply this density formula here we have d is equal to z z value is 4 because fcc structure is there and next is atomic mass atomic mass is uh, 200 uh, gram per mole and see so here we have uh, volume next is volume of unit cell a value is known obviously we can get the volume of uh, unit cell we can simply plug in 5.00 multiplied by 10 to power minus 8 and centimeters and cube we can do the calculation here we use the calculators 5.00 uh, 5 and it is uh, multiplied by 10 to power minus 8 and it is cube here we get this the value we get we can write it in scientific notation we get 1.25 multiplied by 10 to power minus 22 here we have we can write it 1.25 and multiplied by 10 to power minus 22 and it is in centimeter cube 1.25 multiplied by my, uh, 10 to power minus 22 and centimeter cube and so our cathode numbers per mole is 6.0 multiplied by 10 to power uh, 23 and it is per mole and uh, mole mole will cancel out and so the unit which we get that is gram per centimeter cube you can uh, do the simplification we know that exponents are added in multiplication it is 10 to power minus 22 and it is 10 to power 23 23 minus 22 is equal to 10 here we get 10 0 0 will cancel out now at the top we have 4 multiplied by 20 24 ja, here we get 80 and at the bottom the value which we have 1.25 multiplied by 6.0 now we can multiply the bottom numbers and the value which we get uh, bottom in the bottom 1.25 and it is multiplied by 6.0 the value which we get that is 7.50 in the top we have 80 and so the bottom we get 7.50 now we can divide these uh, numbers at the top we have 80 sorry it is 80 and uh, 80 is divided by 7.50 the value which we get that is 10.67 we can round up these figures and so write it in four uh, uh, four significant figures 10.67 uh, and the unit of density is in gram per centimeter cube gram per centimeters cube this is the density of x element now the question says that find the number of unit cells for 20 gram of this element x element the mass of this element is given 20 20 gram and in this amount of this element we have to find out the number of unit cells 
the density of x element is given the mass of uh, uh, this element is given first we need to find out the volume of this element then we can find out the number of unit cells present in that volume we can apply the formula d is equal to density is equal to mass upon volume mass upon volume density mass is given in the problem density we have already calculated and from this formula we can calculate the volume of this amount of x element v is equal to here we get m upon d m value is 20 gram here we get 20 gram it is given in the problem and this is d value is 10.61 it is gram per centimeters cube gram gram will cancel out centimeter will go up the value which we get we can divide these numbers here we have 20 and it is divided by 10.67 and the value which we get that is 1.874 1.874 and it is in centimeter cube this is the volume of 20 gram of x element now we find out the number of unit cell present in this volume of x elements we know that the volume of one unit cell is given 1.25 uh, 1.25 multiplied by 10 to power minus 22 centimeter cube then the number of unit cell present in this volume of the substance we find we can simply divide the volume of substance by the volume of unit cell so here we get number of unit cells is equal to here the top we have the volume of the substance 1.874 centimeter cube and so at the bottom we have 1.25 multiplied by 10 to power uh, minus 22 and centimeter cube same units will cancel out and we can divide these numbers this is the volume of unit cell in the top we have 1.874 and it is divided by 1.25 the value which we get 1.4992 we can write it in three significant figures then we get 1.50 here we have 1.50 it goes up this is negative exponent then it becomes positive exponent 10 to power 22 these are the number of units present in this volume of x element which uh, which has the mass of uh, 20 gram you can see that how we calculated the number of unit cell present in a specific amount of uh, an element in a solid crystal. Thank you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. For more updates on IIT JE or NEED exams, please subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.